while Instagram's foundation is a is based on individual people contributing from a passion perspective and and this kind of strong sense of community, Instagram didn't overlook the fact that it had to be a place where businesses could thrive from a from a commercial perspective. You know, if, if they didn't get that part of it right, they weren't going to survive. And I fundamentally believe that that in the early days, again, Instagram as a business made some really smart decisions. They allowed businesses and empowered businesses to, to participate in these communities. There wasn't this like separate business function. If you're a business, you would just start an account the same way an individual person would be. The rules were exactly the same. If you wanted to do well in Instagram, you had to participate in the community or you had to create your own communities. And in order to be an effective participant, you had to be a creator and you had to recognize that that we contribute towards communities. Communities are great because people put in more than they take out. And in the early days, the businesses that survived were the guys who adopted that, who went, you know what, Instagram is different to these other platforms and we need to be a creator. We need to create amazing content. We need to empower communities. And so you had a lot of businesses doing Insta meets and get togethers and crowdsourcing stuff. And, you know, there, there were a lot of community based activities that were, were the rage. And they were incredibly successful for brands because what corporates need to recognize is that they have budgets and they have funds that can affect a lot of people's dreams, that they can make other creators or give other creators the opportunity to build brilliant product, projects and products. It doesn't have to be only about the brand. As Instagram evolved, they started introducing, you know, direct advertising and, 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 and uh, kind of more efficient and better ways for brands to target consumers. I guess at a very basic level, like if I take emotion aside, the reason why brands should be on Instagram is because there's a lot of people there um, and brands will always want to go where people are. The attention rates are really high on Instagram. You know, people are engaged. They want to be there. So it's an incredible opportunity for brands. The flip side of that is because Instagram isn't just a, an advertising platform. The brands that do well are the ones who embrace the fact that it isn't just about flashing ads in front of people. It's about participating in these communities. It's about recognizing that you yourself as a company are a create can take on a creative endeavors. You can empower other people's creative endeavors. You can create opportunities for content creators. You can bring art to life. You can do all of these amazing things and people will reward you financially for that. They will buy your products and they'll support you and they'll want to be a part of that community. If you only see it as a kind of smash and grab opportunity where you can go in and blast a ton of ads, etc., you'll probably get some traction, but but you're unlikely to succeed as well as the, the brands that have embraced it correctly will.